Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everyone. I hope that all of you are doing well, and I hope that all of you are doing great. Let's just take a look at our today's agenda. Today we will talk about what is Tableau, uh, you know, need for Tableau online. What is Tableau online and setting up your first site? Like what are the steps involved if you want to set up your first site? So let's get started and uh, let's first of all understand what is Tableau? Like we're talking about, okay, Tableau is required and all, but what exactly Tableau means? So what exactly it stands for? So uh, it is a software company. Tableau is a software company which produces interactive data visualization products focused on business intelligence. So Tableau helps the world's largest organization unleash the power of their most valuable assets, their data and their people. So it basically allows the customers to spend more time on data analysis and less on data wrangling. So that basically is a Tableau. Now talking about what is the need for Tableau online, Tableau online provides a lot of benefits with the help of which, you know, like this, as you can see on my screen, in a screenshot, you can share and collaborate in the cloud where if you want to have the real time, uh, you know, uh, data interaction between on-premise and the cloud, you can do it. So it basically provides you the real time interaction between your on-premise and, you know, and the cloud itself. What is on-premise? On-premise basically is something which is hosted in your uh, data center at your location. That is basically known as on-site. And cloud, basically, you know that like Azure, Microsoft, various cloud providers we have. Other need is, you know, you can uh, skip the setup time and hardware costs with the help of Tableau. Like there is no need to uh, waste the time in setting, uh, you know, setup time or hardware costs. It, it basically uh, save a lot of time and the money. Next is you could ask questions in a natural language. There's no need like that. You have to learn the things in detail. As you can see in my screen, in a screenshot, you just have to use like natural language like this. And you can ask the questions in like that only. Next is, as you can see, AI driven explanation for your insights. So artificial intelligence driven uh, insights basically is possible and with the help of sake of ease. Now, next one that we have is, which is this one with, with the help of which you can interact with edit and the author projects on the web itself. Next is basically security by default uh, and by design is basically possible with this very easily. At the same time, uh, it can empower organization with insights because you know that people in the leadership team are more uh, attracted towards the uh, you know pie charts, graphs, figures. So it's really basically very easy for them. Now talking about um, you know what is Tableau Online. So Tableau Online is uh, you know SaaS platform. What is SaaS software as a service? Which basically you can take it as a service and you can basically pay for your usage, which is a cloud hosted for data visualization and business intelligence. Now, one of the uh, you know advantages is it's very easy to build being a SaaS service. It's easy to share with other people. You can collaborate with other people can work together at the same time. So structured learning at Eureka, if you're going to basically take a course from us, this is going to be the structured learning the way it's going to look like. In the very first class, you're going to learn about data preparation using Tableau, like how you can basically prepare the data using Tableau. After that, uh, you're going to have some practical hands-on on the same topic. Then on the second class, you are going to learn about data connections with Tableau with the practical hands-on. In the third class, you will learn about basic visual analytics with the practical hands-on. Uh, then in the fourth class, you will learn about uh, you know calculations in Tableau with the practical hands-on. In the fifth class, you will learn about advanced visual analytics with the practical hands-on. In the sixth class, you will learn about LOD, which is level of detail expression in Tableau with the practical hands-on. In the seventh class, you will learn about geographic visualization in Tableau with the practical hands-on. In the eighth class, you will learn about advanced charts in Tableau with the practical hands-on. In the ninth class, you will learn about dashboard and stories with the practical hands-on. And in the last class, you will learn about get industry, you know, uh, research projects where you are going to have a real-time exposure for the real use cases with the practical hands-on. At the end, you are going to become a superhero who is going to have a cape for it. I'm just kidding, you are going to become a superhero with the knowledge, guys. <laughs> okay, now talking about, you know, how to set up the first site. There are, for, you know, uh, certain steps involved, like the first step is to plan your site. So here in this case, uh, what you're going to focus on in the plan your site is, where is your data hosted? Like this is something you should know in advance before you're going to uh, set up the first site. Like your data is going to be hosted at the on-premises or on the cloud, who is going to use that data and how they are going to use it. These questions uh, you should know before you start. Like I said, you know, where is the data hosted? Who will use it? And how will they use it? Like it's going to be integrated with something else and all you should have that in, in, entire information. 
Now, advantage of using Extract if you use it, the first is it basically supports large data sets. Uh, it's very fast to create. Uh, at the same time, it helps you to improve the performance since this is fast. Also, it provides offline access to your data as well. Once that is done, then you're going to, you know, build that platform depending on the optimize of the cloud. You're going to select the users who will have access of it and you're going to provide the respective permissions to them. Like, for example, in this case, uh, you know, you're going to define the uh, entire workflow that how the permissions are going to be defined. Like capability outside scope of the site role uh, is going to be denied. Uh, if it is not going to be denied, then it, uh, you know, like, for example, outside of the project scope, if someone can access, it can be a leader, so it can be an admin or a project leader. Yes, then it's allowed. If it is no, then uh, is he a content owner? Yes, if he's yes, he's a content owner, the owner of the content who is created, then he should have access, right? If he's no, then denied as a user. Yes, denied. No, you have to allow as a user. So you're giving the admin, uh, you know, uh, capability to him, uh, access aside outside. So being a normal user, it is allowed. If it is no, it may be designed as a group member. Like you can create so many roles, so many group in the group, you can define the custom permission and you can add the user over there. If it is no, you have to allow it as a group member. So which is going to be allowed. So this entire workflow set of permissions, you can def, uh, decide easily based on which you can use it at any given time. So you can uh, change the permission level, you can evaluate the way you want. So all that kind of access you're going to have uh, on your side. Next basically is plugin data. So the ways to plug in data basically is like uh, the cloud uh, connection, dashboard, starter, table, bridge. Then once that is done, you're going to monitor your site, like the site that you have created is up and running or not, it's giving you the expected result or not. So you can different, use different tools like SimSoft tools as well. So uh, all uh, such kind of things are going to be available to you. After that, you're going to have the performance. So in the performance, basically uh, you are going to have, uh, you know, various things like you're going to clean the data. You don't have uh, that extra of data. You're going to have extracts. You're going to have to pay attention to site design and you have to basically perform the performance tuning. At the end for authentication, you want basically, you can use, uh, you know, there are different to authenticate. You can use multi-factor authentication. You can use Google. You can use SAML, you can use Stable as well for authentication itself. So all such kind of benefits you're going to have. I hope that you have enjoyed and learned a lot. Thank you for joining this today's session, guys. We will meet in future webinars like this. Wishing all of you a great day ahead. Take care.